Hi guys, um, I'm just going to show you today a couple of inexpensive collections. Um, I picked up these up, the majority of them about four, four and a half years ago. Um, one is the Australia's Endangered Species and the other one is the Birds of Australia. I'll go through the Birds of Australia first and then talk a little bit about them. You can probably see there's actually two two sets here. One is the Pied Ford set, and the other one is the standard Silver Proof. They both got a denomination of ten Australian dollars, but the difference between them is the Pied Ford coins weigh forty grams, and the standard proof weighs 20 grams. Now both of these sets um, are reasonably easy to come by, especially in Australia. Um, the majority of them are very easy to find there. Um, not so much in Europe and not so much in America, but they're by no means rare at all. The, uh, the standard proofs have a mintage of 50,000 I believe, and the Pied Forts have a low mintage, well low, of 14,000. So if you're collecting them, that would be the set to collect for two reasons. Um, the standard proofs, in my eyes, have not gone up in value at all since, since I bought them. Um, you can still pick these up for between, anywhere between 18 and um, 20 pounds 25 pounds max each. Um, they come with a certificate like that, but it's not necessary to have the certificate or the box or anything. You're not going to pay any more or any less whether they've got the box or the certificate. It's totally meaningless to the to these types of coins. But they're an absolutely fabulous collection again. Um, I mean if you look at that, that is a beautiful coin. And these coins can be picked up at this moment in time for round about 28 to 35 pounds maximum, um, which is probably slightly less than, um, than you could have paid three or four years ago. So this is one of these collections that basically have done absolutely nothing. Uh, but it doesn't bother me because I like them. They're in my collection and that's that. Um, I actually thought the, the, I paid a lot more for some of these but I haven't. I've checked up um, and I roughly I've paid um, similar to what you can buy now. I've probably paid a little bit less on some of them surprisingly which kind of surprised me. Anyhow that's the set of six of Birds of Australia. The Pied Fort and the Standard Proofs. The next ones are the endangered species. Um, both of these sets, by the way, were issued by the Royal Australian Mint. And the strikes are fantastic. They've got no milk spots, not a single coin. I've got quite a few of these. Um, beautiful, yeah. And again, it's the same story with these. The Pied forts are really the, the ones to pick up. Value-wise, um, again, these are slightly cheaper than, than what I paid for them. Um, and they're all, again, pretty easy to, to come by. The mintage on, on these coins is 14,000 on the Pied forts. I'm not sure, I can't remember to be honest with you what, what the mintage is on the uh, standard proofs, but I think it's about 30,000. The only coin that's not that easy to find um, is the Northern Hairy Nosed Wombat. That's the only difficult one to find, and it's slightly more expensive than the others, um, even in Australia. So that's it basically guys, um, not a great deal more to say about them, but um, they're a fabulous little collection and it's one of those if you're mainly a bullion collector um, and you fancy something a bit different, have a go at these because it's 
a set that you can pick up relatively easy. You could probably get the lot of them within three months, um, and you know you might have an odd one to chase down, but you're not going to be waiting forever to complete this. Okay guys, that's me done.